Hello, Rockers and Mercuryans. Pumpkin blueberry pancake morning with um, dusted with cinnamon. All plant based, homemade, no biscuit added. Excited to have some. With some fresh maple syrup on this beautiful Saturday morning. It's supposed to be raining. It looks like it's probably gonna rain, but it's not raining yet. And I'm happy about that, but I don't know if I should be that happy. Because it's probably gonna start pouring randomly. But we have this maple here. Let's get some maple on these pancakes. We're gonna chat about a few things today. Last night we were watching, well, my mom and I were watching The Wiz, and then we watched the Clark Sisters movie. And I wanted to kind of discuss both of those this morning, just because they were very good. I mean, I've, I've seen one of them before, but um, yeah, I want to kind of chat about that, the Clark Sisters and The, and the Wiz um, with Diana Ross and Michael Jackson. Oh my God, 1.4 thousand likes. I didn't have to say anything. I didn't have to shame you guys. I didn't have to pull the race card or anything. You guys literally just went ahead and liked the video. 1.9 thousand likes. Thank you to everyone who's in here. Thank you for all the follows I see coming through. Thank you, Samar Gates, for the follow. Thank you, It's Not it's not Lydia. Thank you for the follow. Did I miss any other followers in here? I thought I saw more. But thank you for those follows. Um, and wow, a lot of people came through. Wow, thank you, Coco Kane Montana. Oh my God, Coco, wow. Okay. Um, thank you for the follow. Thank you, Solo44 Reles, for the follow. Thank you, Oakley Merciel, for the follow. And CJ Wilson, thank you for the follow. CJ Wilson, 370. Okay. Let's get into these pancakes. They're filled with blueberries. They are delicious. Already, because I've already had them. It's the last bit of them for this batch. Um, so, let's get into it. I hope they're done in the middle. Because yesterday when I made them, they... Yeah, they're done. They're done in the middle. Yes, that's good. That's good. Okay, I let them cook long enough. I think you have to cook them on. You gotta cook them on low. You can't like really rush them because otherwise they'll just brown on the outside, and then those be like a batter on the inside, and that's not cute. Um. Mm. Yeah. Touch your vibe. These came out very well. So we also have some green drink on the side. I'm not sure what's in this. Um but there's green stuff in it. And my sister made it, so very happy to have some fresh green drink this morning. Oh, whoa, it's a lot of ginger. In a good way. Some other stuff in here too. Um, I think there's green apples in here probably, but yeah. Tiny yeah, pink. Spinach. These are just spinach, spinach in here. Spinach, lime. ginger, lemon, lime, apple, apple, and mint. Apple, pineapple, mint. Apple, pineapple, mint, very good drink. Mm -hmm. Very, very tasty. And it's chlorophyll and sarsaparilla. Um, thank you, JJS Plays, for the follow. Thank you, Tiny Pink, for that follow. Yeah. So, for some of you guys who don't know, oh, 3.2 thousand likes. Wow. What's happening? Thank you. Um, we got the 10,000 likes yesterday, so will we beat our 10,000 likes? Will we? Let's see. Um, make sure you follow, you guys. Oh, Zeke. Zeke the Fish Freak follow. Thank you. Um, so we watched The Wiz with Michael Jackson, Diana Ross, Diana Ross's brother, which I didn't realize that's who played the Cowardly Lion in the movie. Thank you, Chapo K3, for the follow. Um, and I know a lot of people have, have seen The Wizard of Oz, but I've got to say The Wiz is probably 10 million times better than The Wizard of Oz. It has soul to it. 10 million? Sounds better? No, I think it's a little bit Oh, God. Did you... I think some, some people haven't, haven't even seen The Wiz before. Yeah, you have a no-mo. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just going to take my data as it is a billion times better. Um, being that I almost fell asleep watching The Wizard of Oz, and I never fell asleep watching The Wiz. Because you can win. You can't breathe and then you can't get out of the game. Thank you, Mar Marley World, for following. Thank you, Macho Allen, for the follow. Um, and Raspberry Dream got that gifter badge, sent me seven finger hearts. That's right. So I guess Raspberry Dream loves the Wiz as well. So um, when I was just watching it, and I, and I knew some of the backstory now, because like, I've been 
not all of it, I know, I know a little more of the backstory. And part of it was that that movie had a very low budget. And they made, they did such a great job with that low budget. It made it look very, um, what's the word? Um, intentional. Everything was very, like, just really, um, very well executed. And I see, like, you can, you can have a huge budget movie and it can still be boring. Like, I don't like, I don't like the Transformer movies, honestly. I get bored. And that's a huge budget movie, but it doesn't have a heart to it or soul, in my opinion. Um, there's a lot of movies that have a lot of budget, but I just don't bring it I also didn't realize that Michael Jackson was 19 when he filmed this movie 19 and the only survivor of the main cast is Diana Ross Diana Ross was a Tracy, Tracy Ellis Ross's mother some of y'all know her more than Diana Ross which is crazy but it's real shout out to Tracy um, Nay Nay Exxon, Hood Freeze, Frieza, thank you for the follow. Um, Wanda Light, Light Life? Wait, Wanda Lytle, thank you for the follow. Judy Bex, thank you for the follow. Homebreak, hum, Homebreaker, or Numbreaker? What in the world? Okay, thank you for the follow. And Creator Life 67, thank you for the follow. We're gonna get to 10,000 followers in no time. We will be there, we're already 6,200 at this point, or very near that. That's huge, you guys. Like, I'm very honored for every person who's following, every person who's liking. I'm extremely thankful. It is not, um, go past me. I'm, I'm very happy. No matter how many numbers I get, and my numbers have been growing a lot lately, I'm just very, I remember where I came from, and I'm still not even anywhere. <laughs> but I'm going further, so I'm thankful for that. Um, because, yeah, I, I remember this begging to get not begging but just wishing I even had like two people on here so thankful to have still over 100 people on here right now so shout out to all y'all um I suggest all of you guys watch the movie again um one of my favorite parts that, I, that really hit me because I've been working in the fashion world of the last few years um well, a lot, actually a lot of years, but like more in the producing side and realizing the the whiz behind the industry and how, you know, fickle everything is and not real things are, was the scene where they're all dressing up in different colors depending on what the whiz says is in. The color is red, the color is green, the color is gold, like solid gold, solid gold. You know, it's like very... They could just change in a, in a minute and everybody was just committed to whatever that change was. They just gave up everything else. They, they were like, I wouldn't be seen me, I wouldn't be seen in green. Like they were just talking they were all wearing green a second ago and now they wouldn't be seen in green and now they're all about red and they never all about gold and it's just um shows you that so many of these celebrities and people are like f following foot foot and stuff, like they're like whatever is whatever is the new trend. Um, even when it comes to their body size, like there was, there's a huge thing of, oh, you know, full figure, every, like, every, we want full figure models, we want thick bodies are in, and then all of a sudden they're like, oh, now, now skinny, skinny bodies are in now, like skinny vibe, like they literally switched it, and like that's unhealthy for somebody who's gonna follow trends, or they're gonna um, gain it and then lose it right away, like that's that's not a healthy thing, and like, who is making these trends up? And who's just jumping on them like that to get these roles and be famous or be, you know, featured? Well, the same thing in the movie has been happening in the media for years. Probably since the beginning of the media. Um, thank you, Creator of Life, for following. Thank you, Sky March, Marchie, for following. So I just thought I just thought it was. Like as an adult now, like looking at there's so many so much symbology in the movie, and that movie Wizard of Oz. I mean, well, sorry, The Wiz. The Wizard of Oz has some symbology too. It's just super boring to me. It's just like oh, like you know, I just it's too sterile. It feels sterile. It's not. But you know what? I will give. I will give Julie Garland. Judy Garland is that girl. So it wasn't like I'm not saying that the Wizard of Oz was a bad movie because Judy Garland gave. She did give, and I love Judy Garland, and I, she, she lived a very tragic life. 
but she gave her heart and soul to that movie role. Um, so I will give her that, but there still wasn't like as much soul as The Wiz. And maybe I shouldn't compare them. They are their own movies, and they are they have they're, they're good in their own right. To be honest, like when I watch The Wizard of Oz again, yeah, I, I could watch it again. Um, so let me not let me not diss it, but I sometimes I like, get upset because The Wiz doesn't get the credit it deserves with such an all star cast like. Um, Diana Ross and Michael Jackson together just performing flawlessly in this like a movie that, a movie that cannot be recreated. People don't even act like that anymore. Yeah, Lena White. Mm. As the as the the, um, the good witch, Linda. It's done. Like it's just such a good movie. Thank you, Michael Robinson, for following, for, for sharing the live. Um, so yeah, I just I really enjoyed it and it reminded me not to stick to the trend, to do you, because the trends are going to keep going in and out, in and out, changing every day. But do what you love to do, do what you feel called to do, um, know you can always go home. <laughs> But when you think of home, you think of a place where there is love ever flowing. Um, mm, such a good, such a good movie. Okay, anyway, the next thing we watched, which I didn't think I would ever watch this. I heard it came out, but I didn't really like care that much, honestly, at the time. But it was a movie about the Clark sisters, and I was very pleasantly surprised and shocked like I'm not a gospel person anymore like I used to be I grew up in a church but I'm not involved in any church anymore don't even support any of that um but I do love good singing and I love good vocals and I know that even though I'm not involved in the church one of the best singers is Kim Burrell even though she's a mess and other and otherwise um she's a gospel singer but her talent and her voice just like insanely um powerful um but this, mo this movie was about the Clark sisters, who is one of the most renowned, or the most renowned gospel group in history, who's broken crazy records and got number one songs and Grammy nominations and just, um, I don't know why it's Grammy nominations. I feel like it should have been Grammy wins by now. Like, maybe they did win? I don't know. I think they just got, I don't, I, they didn't say they were Grammy winners. They said Grammy, nom Grammy nominated, so. I don't know. They, they deserve a Grammy for that after seeing what they went through in that movie. Um, so they started off in, in like Detroit, Michigan. And her mother was a singer. A very powerful, well-renowned singer. The mother of Mrs. Clark. Um, and she was really tough on them. Like Joe Jackson tough on them. You know, very strict on making sure that they you know, practice at any time of the day, um, that they were always on key, always on, like their, their soul was in the music. They always sing as one voice, which a lot of singers can't do because they're always trying to um, outdo the other one in the group. They're like, no, I'm the Beyonce of the group. No, I'm the Beyonce, I'm the Beyonce. No, they're all, when they know they're at Michelle's, like they, they, like the Clark sisters united their voice and have one powerful voice, which was like cut through to do everything, but they weren't able to stay together with that one voice. Unfortunately, they had so, like, so many things coming between that family bond and so much drama. Like, it just was sad to see all the drama tear apart what the mother had, like, really built. Yeah, she built it with a lot of force, but she did. She built something that the world recognized as excellence. Um, and they sounded ama they sound amazing. Like, you, you know, even if you don't listen to gospel, you've probably already heard their songs. Um, and they made history with their songs. Thank you um, to Yo Fave Daddy for following. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, there was like a lot. There's a lot in that in that movie. Like they they had to survive toxic relationships, um, industry deals of selling all your rights for like a car or so. Like things that happen to this day. People sell people sell themselves short. Um, in this, in this very predatory um, industry, like record label industry, you can get really taken advantage of. And they were taken advantage of multiple times. Um, which is a sad story that happens so often. It's like, it's like, 
Record labels are supposed to be built to um, support the artist and build the artist up. And yet, so often, the artist is left feeling, you know, destroyed and attacked by that same label. Go over it. Are they vegan? Yeah. Oh, never mind. Oh, well. Um, your face, raspberry green. Oh, thank you. What's up, Holly Joe's in the house? Hey, Holly Joe. 4.5 thousand likes. Amazing. Loving all of it. But yeah, it, um, it was very profound and it was sad to see, you know, like the, the natural flow of life and they, you know, they had to, like their mother was fighting for her life and she ended up passing away in the movie and then they had to, they fought at the funeral and it's the drama of life and it was just showing, I don't know, like you, you just, you see these celebrities, you're like, oh, they're just like, they're just big stars and you don't think that they're like human in some ways because of how much celebrity they have, but they really are just regular people trying to make it kind of get through it. And, and a lot of times they have so much trauma from the way they were, they were raised in order to become famous that they don't even know how to act in public a lot of, like a lot of times or, or deal with a lot of things. Um, also the nurse in the family was left to, the nurse, there was one sister that was a nurse and she was, she was left um, to just take care of everyone, basically. And that happens so often where all the weight of the family would be put on one person who, you know, is in the health field or something that would just have to hold everything. And that's, it's rough. It was just like a, a lot of life moments in there that was just kind of sad, but also a beautiful story, but like a lot of sad things that were like, wow, like this, that really is how life be going. Um, what's up, Harley Joe? Said, August is singing the song of my people. Oh, is that what he's singing? August, who wrote this song? You wrote that song for the people? Just playing around. Um, but yeah, he's sing he out here singing. Sing it, August. Holly just said, sing your, sing your heart out. Mm. So, very good movie. It made, it made you like really appreciate um, this value time you have. Um, also, to not like. I don't know, like, it, it was interesting to see the mother who went, who was, like, working so hard for them and see her just get her heartbroken over and over again by the daughters, like, not, like, the like the sisters not staying together for the group. Like, as they're finally getting success, they all want to do their own thing. They're like, I don't want to be this part of this group anymore. Like, I feel like groups, that always happens in, in music groups. They're, like, they're good at first, and then they just decide that they all want something of their own, and then they lose that, like, unity to build something huge. If they stayed together, they could have built a ginormous, you know, empire, but they, um, they get to the, it's like the, I guess like the ego takes over, or I don't know, like they just start, it just, they just started separating. If you're using to sign contracts and marrying toxic husbands. That was a big one I saw. A lot of the relationships messed up their situation, except for one of them. One of the sisters got a good partner, and there was like, she was like held down in a good way. But a lot of the other situations were very like sketchy. Like one of them, she got married and then, then he tried to isolate her, like move her out to like North Carolina. He didn't even have a job, but she was like the famous one. And then he like treated her bad after. It was just messed up. Like it was, it was stuff you don't think you're gonna, stuff you don't think about when you see these people as like the celebrities they are. But, um, what is it? You biting his toe? Mm -hmm. She is hilarious. Why are you biting your toe, August? Oh my god, he really is out down here. <laughs> what in the world? Uh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because he'd be crying if he did. Scared, it scares you though, but like, yeah, I guess he wouldn't do it hard. 
to be that taxable. Um, yeah, so I, I was happy to see that movie. I never would have watched it on my own. It just happened, like my mom just happened to turn it on. So it was, it was good to just see that kind of story. The church is like, the church is just a bizarre place. Like, but there's so much good music that happens out of the out of the churches. Like the music, like the vocal ability. I wish that they were singing better songs, of course, but it didn't matter because I was just focusing on the vocals. And the funny, they're like, I wrote this song, and it's like, Jesus, 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 Jesus. It's like, like four words, and I was like, I wrote this. <laughs> and it sold the rights for, they could have sold a lot more money, but it's funny how, like, what you get away with for gospel. It's crazy what you, um, what you get for, um, like what you get away with like writing gospel music like you really don't have to write many words <laughs> like it's always like it's a lot of the same things it's recycled well i enjoyed it overall if you get a chance to see it was that a lifetime movie mom or was that a real movie the clark sisters if that was a lifetime movie they did a good job they did a really good one but you know they also did a good job on the Wendy Williams Lifetime movie. You haven't seen that one yet, right, Mom? Mm -hmm. um, that, that one. I really enjoyed it. Now, I'm looking back, I wonder how much she adjusted in the movie because, like, I don't know. I, I don't know if it was like exactly right. <laughs> like it was like documentary style. <laughs> Because the Wendy, like her situation now is so like bizarre, you know, she like losing her mind in a way. But also, it seems like it may be planned in a way to get back at her ex husband who cheated on her, had a baby on the side, and left with that woman, and then lived off of her money and asked for alimony every month. That now he's bankrupted because she's been sick and not able to work on her show, Wendy Williams. And so I think it was probably part of her plan to do that, which would be genius. But also, she does look unhealthy. She looked unhealthy at that time, so. I don't know she's that good of an actress that she could pull this off, but if the movie was right, I mean, I, don't, I just don't know how much of the movie was actually true. Holly Joe says, Lifetime movies aren't real movies, Rock. Holly Joe, that was a real movie. It was a, like a two hour long movie. Were we in there by two hours? Oh, it felt like a long movie. Maybe an hour and a half. Holly Joe, that was a real movie. I will say Lifetime used to be awful, to my, in my opinion. Like, like the other movies were so fake. Is it no? Um, Holly, Kyle, Kyle Elder, thank you for the follow. And then Holly Joe says, "No, I'm asking you. You said was that a Lifetime movie or a real movie? Wait, but you said Lifetime movies aren't real movies, Rock. Oh, aren't real." Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, now I see the question mark. Because I see a period after the aren't real. And then movies rock. Okay, I got you. So, um, yeah. I guess, I mean, it depends. It depends on who, because like, 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 Lifetime is a network. So whoever produces it, technically they're all, they're, they're all real movies, but I don't consider some of them, because some of the plots are just the worst plots ever most boring movies of people you never heard of and Lifetime can have some really bad stuff on there. But um, they've been doing better lately, I feel. Like, I, I really think that the TLC movie was decent. I've heard, I haven't, I haven't seen it all. I've seen only clips. But I heard that was decent. I heard that they did, they butchered a Leah movie. That they said that, that it was so bad the family tried to sue. <laughs> um, but Wendy Williams was a part of her movie, so that came out well. And then this Clark sister, if this Clark sister's movie was a lifetime, then I thought they did a great job. Like that, that movie could have been in theaters, in my opinion. I mean, who like what, what justifies a, what justifies a theater movie? Also, I hate going to theaters, so I don't think anybody anything just justifies it. Just put it out, out to DVD immediately. Put everything out to the streaming services. Like, why do we have to go to sit in some like sticky, grounded, popcorn infested with probably some rats. Oh, I, don't, I don't know if there's rats. If you go to a nice one, there's no rats there, hopefully. 
but the overpriced nasty snacks around other people you don't know, all these strangers, one of them get up and, you know, put out a weapon on somebody like they did in that, like, back in the day. I don't, mm -mm. no, I don't even like going to movie theaters. That's not fun to me anymore. The last time I went was to see my own movie I was in, but I don't, I didn't even want to go then. I wish it was out <laughs> on DVD, but I, I wanted to see it while, before other people started saying if I was in there or not. Um... Hmm. Holly Joe says, don't mess around and find out, Rock. Mm -mm. I'm good on movie, th movie theaters. I have no interest. I like being at home. I like creating from home. I like going on walks. I like going to the mall, going to the grocery store, um, going to the gym, but not to work out. Work out just to like stretch and like spa. Like, I like simple things. Like, I don't, you know, getting a massage. If I can need another massage, my back is like, starting to affect me again. But I'll stretch today when I go to the gym. Hopefully I'll get better. Um, but yeah, movie, movie theaters, movie theaters are not. Like, I, I used to love it because we used to go, with my mom, we used to go to get to, go to the movies and then get pizza after with our cousins, and that was fun. So, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're full? Okay. Movie theaters are gross. People, people poot in the seats. No, Holly Joe, you're right, they do. Mm. Yeah, I'm good on them. They don't, clean those, they don't clean anything in there enough for me. Nothing. But like I said, I only went because that one situation. But otherwise, I can always wait a few weeks or months, whatever it takes to get to your TV screen. I'll wait for that. And then I may still not watch it then. Like, I don't really want to watch the, Av the Avatar or the Wakanda. I don't want to wa wanna watch Black Panther. I'm just not interested for some reason. Like I used to be like, rushing to see these movies. Now I'm just kind of over everything. I think this, I think seeing how the system works and like what gets greenlit, who the producers are behind these projects, and what kind of agenda they're pushing. I just I don't I just don't know if I care anymore. I like watching YouTube because it's like real people talking about real things, it's helping you learn about real things. Like you can learn how to how to do music production learn different real estate um real estate news um like i like learning that kind of stuff learning about where to go for traveling i like seeing vlogs of people just talking about their life or things they're going through in real life on youtube so yeah youtube is where i go mostly I do like cartoons every now and then. Like I love um, American Dad, South Park, Rick and Morty, um, Boondocks, which is not even on anymore, but it's such a good show. Um, Family Guy's good too. I like Family Guy as well. Why well, do I watch that as often? My go-to though, if there's a new episode of any of those, the one I would go to first would be Rick and Morty. I think it's so risque that I, I enjoy it. It's so creative, the way they, the way they make those episodes. I, just, I never get bored. I could watch it again and again. I could, I could watch some South Park episodes again and again too. But it's a little different. Like Rick and Morty, just when you watch it again, you catch different things that you didn't see before. And there's a lot of Easter eggs within the sh within the show. Holly Joe, that's so nasty. I can't believe you said that. I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> you said movie theaters are gross because people poop in the seats. They really do, and that's just. 
Mm. So they're like infusing the seats. That's nasty. Um, Ape Milo, thank you for following the host. Thank you for following me. I, that's also why I don't like going on, bus, on buses or even planes or anything. Holly Joe says, and your feet stick to the floor. You don't know. You could have, no, I can't say that. You can have bees. You can have things from people's nose on the arms of a chair. Ah, oh, Holly Joe. Holly Joe, why? You know, I'm eating pancakes. Holly Joe is so, oh my gosh. Holly Joe. <laughs> no. Now I'm never gonna go sit in a movie theater again. I already wasn't going to, but. Shay's in the house. I was thinking about you yesterday, Shay. How you been? Good morning to you. Shay said, um, hello, Holly Joe. Yes. Holly Joe says, hello, my love. Oh, so happy Shay's here. We're talking about something, you know, we're gonna change the subject. We're not gonna go into it again. We're just gonna say that movie theaters aren't it. No movie theaters. I'm good on them, personally. But I've had some good times at them. I've seen some good movie, movies in the past, but I think I'm just past that. And also, the screen we have at the house is so huge that it's like, why go to a theater? Um, Holly Joe says, Shay, just read, just read the comments. I hope she can't read them. I hope that, that she came in too late, so they're gone. I hope that they delete it. <laughs> oh, I love that shirt. You love this shirt? Thank you. I just literally threw it on right now because I was wearing the shirt under here too many days in a row. Well, I, well, I think I'm too many videos in a row. Not too many, it's not even a day I've worn this shirt, but I did like four videos in it. So my shirt, the shirt under this. So I was like, okay, let me just put something over it. And it's kind of cold, but it's crazy. I'm wearing this sweater, but then I'm wearing short shorts. <laughs> so it's like, what am I doing? Um. But yeah, it's a mess. Who knows? Who knows? There's still a hundred people in here. Oh my gosh, you guys have really been sticking in lately. I appreciate everyone supporting. Um, thank you for all the gifts and everything. I have to play the game, you guys. I have to watch everything I say on here and just play the TikTok game. You notice I haven't been getting banana anymore. I love Holly Joe said they here for me rock. I know you're the star of the show, Holly Joe. I know it. But I'm just trying to feel good for a moment. I know that you're the reason they came. <laughs> and not Analia followed me. Thank you for the follow, An Analia. Analia. Thank you. Shay says, "Oop." Baby August, what's going on? You want that grandma? Aww. Let me get off of here and hang out with the baby. Um, there's baby August, that's right, you hear him. Baby August. Alexa, volume six. Alexa, is it going to rain today? It might rain today. There's a 54% chance at 11 a.m. 11 a.m.? Alexa, what time is it now? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 10.44 a.m. Ooh, it's 10.44, so like, like only um, 15 minutes away. It'll start raining. Mi vida. Thank you for the follow me, Vita. Shay says, ask her what's the temperature. Alexa, what is the temperature? Right now, it's 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh. Today, expect a high of 55 degrees. That's a high? Is that too cold for baby August? Baby August's mommy said, no walk for the baby. She's just like Eveline from Wiz. <laughs> 
<laughs> she's nothing like Evelyn. She's gorgeous. My sister's so beautiful. But like Evelyn looks like so. But you know, Evelyn as a person, she probably isn't. I mean, she definitely doesn't look like she looks in the movie. I would hope. They put so much move, so much makeup on her. Uh, but she killed. She's my favorite role. If I had to pick any role to play in the Wiz, the movie The Wiz, I would pick Evelyn. I would like want to make it the male version of Evelyn or like gender neutral or something. I don't know. Just for the movie's sake. I would love to do. Don't you bring me no bad news, no bad news, no bad news, no bad news. You can bring me flowers in the dun 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 but don't you, don't you bring me no bad news. And she's just over there with the whip. And the outfit was everything. Every outfit in The Wiz is perfect for Halloween or like just at the, or a costume party. You can literally, for like I'm 32 right now, if I pick that a different outfit every year for Halloween, from the whiz, I would still I can do it until I pass away. I can literally have a new amazing outfit that's like a deep cut from um, the whiz. The people would be like, "Oh my gosh, your outfit's amazing!" And people who know would know. I can do it every year. Like there's enough outfits in there. You could be Glinda. You can be Dorothy. You can be the Scarecrow, like Michael Jackson. You can be the Tin Man, the Lion. You can be. Um, Oh my gosh, like they, there's like these, um, these lotus women that like are the dancers with, with the, that like kind of make everybody pass out, the one that, the one that put people to sleep. Like they had such cool outfits. The, the ones from the, from the Emerald City, you could be one of them. You could be one of the, like the guy who has the accordion and dun -dun 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 -dun. like he like plays the accordion and like the little puppets get up, the puppet master. You could be that. You could be a trash can with fangs on it. <laughs> what else do you could be on there? You could be oh the first the the, the the um the queen wait the um the witch the witch of numbers the num the one who's like all about the numbers. She was the she was amazing. I forgot her name, but like she's the first witch that you see that I talked about. She's like all the all the numbers and stuff, and you can be one of the Munchkin people who come off the wall. Like, there's so many outfits you can never like. You, you can just like focus your rest of your life on just uh, like accomplishing. A, like, you, you have to spend a whole year to get the outfit together though, because <laughs> they're like they really did a great job on the on the costume department of the Wiz. Well, I thought about that. I'm like, what if, if I, when I get like that kind of famous with that kind of budget? I think I will just do an outfit every year from that movie. I'll just pick one of them. Surprisingly enough, I don't think I would pick Dorothy's outfit. Because it's like, you know, I don't know, she's just wearing like a little dress with some, you know, silvery, silver sparkly shoes. It's not like giving that much creativity. But like, that's okay. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick her outfit, but I'd pick all the surrounding characters. They all have like, oh, the lion's outfit is one of the best ones. The lion suit, like he, he had like a lion fur suit in a way. It was just, it looked fashion, high fashion. Unlike the Wizard of Oz, which is, I don't know, it was too, it's too camp. Was it even camp? I don't know what it was, but it, it wasn't as good as the Wiz. Costume wise. Beauty by Courtney, thank you for the follow. David Thornburg, Burrow, thank you for the follow. I am Destiny Jana, thank you, thank you for sharing the live. 5.4 thousand likes. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. This was an amazing waffle on pancake in it. Got some bacon at the end. Plant-based, of course. So that was great. Grateful. I may go out. Well, I was gonna say I might go on a walk because I do want to see the lake. I love seeing the lake. It like really calms my spirit down, and I just like to. But I don't want to see the lake and freeze. You know what? We're gonna go out to the backyard right now together. I might only make it to the porch, but let's see how cold it is in my short shorts and my sweater. This will determine if I do anything more than go to my car to get to the gym. It's will determine that right now. Shay says, no walk for baby, baby August. That's right, no walk for August with this kind of weather. Okay, I'm out here. I'm out here. Whew. 
it's not it's not like freezing freezing but it's not like a nice it doesn't feel like comfortable cold um hmm I don't know, I might, I might throw on some clothes and just, like, walk to the lake. I, I don't know. Mm, I think I might drive to the lake. I think I, oh, yeah, I think I'll drive to the lake. It's kind of, it's a little too cold for me. Yeah. As I sit out longer. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. But, yeah, I'm going to put a sweater on and, like, long pants when I go to the gym because I... I'm probably still going to go to the hot tub, though. I will say that. Because this kind of weather, I can still be in a hot tub and be comfortable. So that's that's fine. I'll do that. But then I got to run back inside afterwards. But yeah, other than that, I'm not trying to be outside like that. Thank you, I'm Destiny Jana, for following. Yeah. Mm -mm. But it's still a beautiful day. Thank you, Daniel012341, for following. Yeah, it might, it's, it's probably going to rain soon. It looks like the clouds are starting to form like that. Whew. All right, you guys. Well, I'll be back on again. I'll be posting this video, and I have a new collection that I've released called Zombie Mercury. Zombie Mercury is uh, I made two, a, a pair of male flip-flops, or slides, and I have flip-flops, I made a pair of male slides and female slides. Then I also made a crop top sweater for you guys, um, and girl, I think it's for women, but you can, I think guys can get it too if they want, whatever, you know? But it's a little, it's like cropped a little more. It's not like you can't really see the belly, but it's like not as long as most sweaters. So I made one of those for you guys with this design. And then I also designed a, um, a what else that is I designed something else for this collection. Oh, a track suit, a track jacket. I I created a track jacket for you guys, so you guys can get that on rockmercury.com. You'll see all of this on my page. So make sure you follow me. All of this will be right on the front on the page of my rockmercury.com. So tune into that. Tune in, tune in, tune in, honey. Um, but thank you guys for 5.7 thousand likes. <clears throat> I don't know how many people were here today. But you guys are all appreciate it. Oh gosh, this is like some really strong juice. I, I'm trying to drink it all because they have some good stuff in here. It's very good. It's just like super gonna wake my like, you know, heal heal my soul. <clears throat> <clears throat> Thank you to my um, master chef, Paris Ray, for this feast, breakfast feast that we had. And every day, Master Paris Chef, uh, chef Paris Ray um, has, you know, been the procuring cause of me almost reaching my 200 pound goal, which I may be at today. I don't know. I'm going to go check the, at the gym, at the, at the, um, the scale. Let me check the scale. There's a scale here, too. Let me check that scale. Mm. I'm kind of scared to check this scale because I want to like, stay, like, stay on one scale so I know that I'm like, what I've actually, my numbers really are. And I don't really care. I don't really follow weight like that. I just have, I just want to be 200 pounds for some reason. It's not, I don't even know it's going to look any different, but whatever. I just want it. So I'm close to it and I feel healthy. My hair is going back so well. Y'all, if y'all been on my hair journey, you know that this is looking so much better than it was. It really, I mean, I know it's still like a little space there, but it's, it is thickening up. You can see all the new growth coming in. I think it's a mixture between the healthier eating, the sunlight, the lack of stress, um, and, you know, not combing my hair. I like take, I unbraid it and I braid my hair and finger separate it so I don't break my hair or, or um, pull it out. So it is coming together. I feel so thankful because you just feel it really hits your confidence as a person and you're balding, you know? Like you see, it's all going back here, so. And it sucks as a man to lose your hair, or as a woman, whatever. Like it's just, it's not a good feeling. So I'm just thankful to still have it and 
hopefully it gets even thicker um especially the front it's always been the front the back of the hair has always been thick and luxurious but the front has been like a challenge um anyway all right you guys i'm gonna get off of here um rock on mercury and so i'll see you guys possibly for lunch more likely probably like a late lunch and maybe like a late dinner or something or i don't know I'll, I'll be back on a few more times today because you guys are really showing me support i thank for for all my subscribers so i will be back here to hang out with you guys like at least two more times today so rock on mercury and see y'all soon thank you bye shout out to all the hundred people who are here right now